my fundamental reason for actually doing this report is looking to the future. And I'm worried that we're looking at a future where the only place where we've got special uh, plants and animals is on offshore islands or behind fences, big fences and sanctuaries. Um, that everyday experience of going into the bush, walking along a track, a couple of fantails coming along behind you, a uh, pigeon, kereru, whooshing overhead, a weka pecking around, um, that kind of experience, I want that for our children and our grandchildren. And so we have to take this issue of those, the pests, the possums, not just possums though, rat possums and rats and stoats that are actually devastating a lot of our bush. We have to take that seriously because it is the greatest threat to the conservation estate. I, I can really um, understand why TNAT is so controversial, especially when it's dropped out of aircraft. I mean, the, the idea of dropping poison out of the sky is naturally um, bad, it gives you a bad feeling. It just feels like a really bad thing to do. Um, but uh, I really don't feel we have a choice. <laughs> and that's what the report lays out. Well, what, what we did in the report was uh, take a particular approach, which was to imagine what if you had the perfect method for controlling these pests. Uh, you'd want it to be really effective in different ways, and you would want um, the concerns about safety and humaneness and so on to be addressed. And so we asked a series of questions around those criteria for, if you like, scoring methods. And 1080 actually scored surprisingly well. I was really quite taken aback by it. And then we looked at all the alternatives and the ones that are available now, the ones that uh, will soon be available, and put them through the same tests. And all of those alternatives um, have a place to play um, because there will always be use of them in particular situations. But um, for uh, vast areas of the conservation estate, where there's these big forests, there is, there is um, no pest control going on at all. And um, at the moment, and the foreseeable future, actually, Aerial 1080 is the only option that we have. It has, it has been raised by, by people um, about the issue of bicycle, uh, that birds, uh, native birds have been killed after 1080 drops, and that is the case for individuals. Um, but if you look back at where these, this has happened in reasonably high numbers, it is some years ago, uh, where carrot baits were used with lots of little pieces of carrots that the birds could eat uh, and far fewer controls. I, mean, so I think something that the people who've been particularly worried about 1080 have actually performed a great service for the rest of us because that has led to many controls being placed on 1080. In fact, it's very controlled compared with other poisons now, actually under 15 different laws. The possums and the rats and the stoats are not going to go back to the countries they came from of their own accord. They'll go on. Um, I actually describe it in the report as chewing the life out of our forests. Uh, so it would be a very sad state of affairs. But we, this is a battle which I believe we need to fight.